Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome in this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. Um, honestly, I was thinking to not upload this video due to the fact that today is the Christmas day and in this occasion I want to say Merry Christmas to all my Christian friends in the channel and everywhere and just to say Happy New Year in advance for everyone and really wish today will be very happy for all of you my friends. Um, that's why today the market is closed actually all the banks are on holiday and I'm not ex expecting any volume or not expecting I'm not expecting a lot of volume or volatility this week therefore I was really thinking to not upload this video however I had to because some pairs did not move as I expected and I had to make it clear what to do next however uh, um, one very important thing to mention here that today or not today three days ago uh, Trump says phase one trade deal with China to be signed very shortly So we need to keep our eyes on the deal if it's happening. It's gonna change the whole market structure uh, Especially for the uh, for the dollar and the pound. Uh, sorry the pound um, the, uh, the yen the, the GPY Most of these pairs will be actually changed and therefore that the analysis you are seeing on this uh, video is only based on technical analysis that doesn't mean that these technical technical analysis will gonna hold their position for a long time. We have to our, keep our positions. Sorry, we have to keep our eyes on the news all the time just to be sure what's happening. Because if this if this deal happened, actually, it's gonna change the direction of the pound and the JPY. And so please, guys, be careful and always keep your eyes on the news, especially the economic news such as this one. So. Uh, starting with the EURUSD, we can see that I was hoping for the EURUSD to actually fall down to this support level to retest this uh, broken support or uh, to so this resist uh, sorry this support is gonna keep its position as a support. However, it seems like the pair has reversed right on the support level. Therefore, uh, the signal for the EURUSD is still valid. I'm still thinking that this resistance here. Is gonna keep its position as a resistance and therefore we can hope for the rise here uh, until the market hit this resistance level and then it's gonna con continue falling more down uh, just as a previous week analysis <clears throat> let's check the pound USD all right so the pound USD did not really move as I expected so far and not that much I mean uh, it didn't uh, reverse at the level I given uh, it fall for almost 62 pips 60 pips are um, below this level however we can see that the market is finally reversing and it seems like the pair is going to rise from this point uh, let's just be more accurate now this support level here we can see what happened for the pound usd that the pair instead of reversing at the previous resistance it just reversed sorry on the support level right here just one second all right, sorry about that. Okay, so what we can see here is the pound USD has reversed right on this support level like that. So what we can see here that this support level is a support number one. It kept its position as a support and this one here, it was a support as well. It was also a resistance in the past. And therefore we can see that this support uh, number one has occurred and right now the market created support number two. Uh, what I'm thinking from the pound USD is to be ranging for some time due to the fact that we also have here a resistance level right here. So all in all, I think the pound USD is rising up. However, um, I'm expecting on Wednesday opening or even th uh, Thursday, sorry, Wednesday is today. I'm thinking about Thursday. Um, maybe the market will actually move a little bit like that. It will be ranging for some time. But eventually, I think uh, the pound USD is going to rise all the way up until it hit this previous resistance level right here. So the smartest thing to do is go to the four hour chart and wait for the retest again on this support level right here. Right here. Um, wait for the pound USD to fall for almost another 26 pips. Uh, let me just uh, mention this the level. Uh, by the pound USD on the level 1.29309 that will be actually smartest thing to do on the pound USD in my opinion because 
um, the, the pound is rising now the pair is rising and therefore we can see that the reversal has already happened right on this support level so now the next reversal we are hoping for is this support level gonna keep its position as a support and we already have a support number one right here this is a support number one and we're hoping for the pair to come to come down a little bit to make a support number two and from this level we are going to buy the pair um, let me just tell you how far you should keep your trade running because I really don't think it's gonna rise uh, quickly for that level it's gonna take a long time before it actually reaches this resistance level so let's just be more realistic uh, this resistance level is gonna be more fair so if we start buying the pound USD here we can look for almost 150 pips level until it hit this previous resistance level right here all right let's check the AUD USD um, AUD USD signal is still just the same as last week because nothing happened it has reached the, le the level where I mentioned to sell exactly this is the level where I mentioned to sell like that if I'm not mistaken correct me please if I'm wrong uh, because that is actually the right level to start shorting the AUD USD uh, so far it's still valid for me and we can see that the pair hopefully on uh, Thursday or Friday will start falling down all the way until it hit this previous support level which should give us approximately 85 pips of profit uh, if, if I'm not mistaken USDGPY also still ranging a lot uh, I gave the sell signal for the pound for the USDGPY and it indeed falling down however that is not for a long time because the pair is just ranging right now um, I'm not sure if this was the signal given or this one here if I'm not mistaken I gave this signal here that the USDGPY should be good for sell and it is falling right from this level I mentioned I, if I'm not mistaken hopefully not if I'm if I am please correct me in the comments um, 12 pips it's uh, still falling down so again USD GPY signal is still going well, still valid. Uh, if you have any sell orders, please keep it running. Let's check the USD CAD. The USD CAD, if I'm not mistaken. Just give me one second, please, guys. I just want, I need to watch my video just to be sure which, which level I give. Yeah, yeah, my signal is valid. I mentioned that this level here is where we should buy the USD CAD. We can see the pair almost it's it almost touched it I mean come on less than a pip actually it touched this level where I mentioned to start buying the USD CAD and now it's going in almost 26 pips of profit and we can as I mentioned keep the position opening all the way until it hit this previous support level right here so if you have any uh, open order um, open uh, open buy orders for the USD CAD please keep them because the pair seems to be still going up it is right now on this very strong support zone and I don't think it's gonna fall down at all it might be ranging a little bit for one day however all in all it is just gonna continue rising more up especially if it break this re uh, resistance trend line here which is, seems to be happening very soon therefore the USD CAD uh, signal is uh, still valid and is going in our favor uh, let's look at the NZD, uh, NZD USD uh, sadly it didn't move as I expected it's just continued to rise more up however I made some analysis for the NZD USD and it seems like um, we are facing the level 61.8 on Fibonacci right on this resistance level right here and right here so therefore what I'm expecting from the NZD USD that it's gonna continue rising more up especially after retesting the resistance level we can see it right here the candle went down here look at this last candle here on daily candles uh, it went down to retest this broken resistance level after this bullish breakout candle and therefore the, the candles or the market actually seems to be continuing its rising momentum uh, I don't think the NZDUSD will uh, fall at this moment however uh, don't do anything with the NZDUSD until it reached this level of the resistance right here let's just be accurate as much as possible uh, just need to look at the left more exactly yeah exactly on Fibo 61.8 this level on uh, sell for the NZD USD on 0 0.66771 and by the way my friends those who are asking me how to decide the stop loss 
if you have placed your sell order for the USD and the DUSD, if you see such candle like this one, full bar breaking out from the resistance or the support, if you see this full bar, immediately just close your trade with the loss. And because, you know something, wait a minute, let me just rephrase that. When you see this candle actually appearing, it's highly advised to close the trade with the loss. However, if you are not gambling, if you are not using big lot, what you can do is wait for the retest because we said we said that the market is going to, to to fall from this resistance for example all right so what happened is this candle appeared and we can see it breaking out from this uh, resistance however always keep in mind that the normal behavior of the candles once they break any support or resistance is the retesting of the broken level therefore if you have uh, open sell order here and if you did not use a big lot size from your account balance, you can actually wait for the pair to retest this level and then close your trade uh, with the minimum loss as much as possible. You can minimize your losses by this way. However, it is way too risky because if, if you place your sell order here, for example, uh, you are already in 36 uh, pips of loss. And also there is a potential that there is there will be no no retest uh, level on the level we are saying that this is the normal behavior however that doesn't mean it's happening all the time we are meaning it's happening most of the times if you really if you look at the market if you check the history you can see that always there was a retest this one here it retest the broken support level um you can see it everywhere actually even this one here this candle broke this resistance and then eventually the market went down again retesting and the retesting seems to be uh, uh, has failed um, even right here the candle broke this resistance level however the market went down again retesting this previous support however remember we are on daily candles that's why using this on daily candles can cost you a lot uh, you can apply this what I'm talking about on the four hour one hour 30 minute time frame always keep in mind that if there is a breakout eventually there should be uh, a retest however it was risky because there could be uh, no retest however uh, therefore uh, just uh, long story short when you see the scandal you can close your trade with the loss without being uh, a gambler without uh, taking more risks uh, because this candle seems uh, to, uh, this candle means that the market seems to be continuing its bullish momentum and there is actually no hope for a reversal no hope for a bearish uh, reversal at this moment therefore if you have the sell order opened just close your trade with the loss all right uh, we talked about a lot in the in the dusd let's go to the usd chf um if I'm not mistaken, the USDCHF is falling right from the level where I mentioned to sell the pair. And I think this is the level exactly I mentioned that we can start selling the USDCHF. It is now in almost 27 pips of profit. So if you have uh, the sell order opened for the USDCHF, you can keep it running all the way until it hit this previous support level right here. So the USDCHF signal is also still valid. Let's now look, uh, check the gold because the gold is really pissing me off. It didn't reverse at all. It just continued rising more and more and more up. It went for really a long time. I think almost uh, more than 100 pips. So now what is the next move? Um, the gold seems to be having a good days right now. And that is all supported by the news about the possible deal uh, between USA and China. However, what's the next move now? All right. So the gold has moved all the way, breaking out this resistance level. It seems like it's going to continue its bullish, uh, bullish momentum. However, uh, if you want to buy the gold, I don't think this is the right time at all. Because if we look at, the, if we use the trend lines, if I want to draw the trend line like that and apply it here, it seems like the gold is actually about to reverse very shortly after hitting this previous resistance level. So therefore, we need to find the best level for buying the gold because right now it is not, in my opinion, the right moment to start buying the gold. Uh, let's just look at the left to find the strong support levels. This level seems to be very good, actually. Oh my God, yes. Oh, perfect. Just like that. Yes, absolutely, yes. So if you are planning to buy the gold, uh, just wait for the reversal because I, th I believe it's going to make uh, a pullback uh, especially if there was no more news coming about the potential deal between US, uh, USA and China. 
uh, this level is going to be best to start buying the gold again because first of all it's retesting the broken resistance right here and right here and also in the past uh, this level was also a strong support level it was very strong support level we can see it right here right here and here and here and here and here so all in all this level is uh, very strong as a support level uh, we need just wait we need we need to wait for the pair to retest this level and therefore i need to change the signal for the gold however uh, be careful again my friends please pay attention to the news that's the reason actually i hate giving signals for the gold it's very sensitive for any world uh, economic news uh, 1492 um, it's almost actually it has reached the 1500 that's a lot that's good rising for the gold that's why I'm thinking that the reversal should start immediately and that's why I'm advising you to never uh, buy the gold right now because actually it, why it might give you a loss uh, again this resistance level right here right here we can see that we have a resistance level which was also support here it was a resistance and here it was a resistance therefore the gold seems to be reversing right on this resistance level I believe it's just a pullback and eventually the gold is gonna continue rising more up so in the end i wish again my friends uh, merry christmas and uh, happy new year in advance and i really hope uh, next week will be profitable and very good for everyone so guys in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching